Hello everyone, it's another beautiful day for another SpaceX update video. Earlier this morning, SpaceX demolished Midbay at the Starbase build site in Texas. This follows the demolition of Tent 1 yesterday. Don't freak out, the demolition was done in a controlled environment and no one was hurt. But it's not that bad, this is all part of the plan to construct a new, better looking and more advanced star factory of the future, which looks something like this. The launch site appears relatively calm since the static fire test. This indicates that the pad needs minimal maintenance and is almost ready to support the next Starship flight. A little while ago, the NASA SpaceX Crew-7 mission successfully docked to the International Space Station at 9.16 a.m. Eastern Time. And Dragon, we see soft capture complete and attenuation will begin shortly. This was about 30 hours after launch and it was done flawlessly like previous missions. The four crew members left Earth yesterday at 3.27 a.m. Eastern Time from Launch Complex 39A in Florida. They will spend about six months at the ISS, performing various scientific experiments, spacewalks, and maintenance work at the space station. Yesterday at 9.05 p.m. Eastern Time, SpaceX launched its 60th launch and 59th successful mission of the year. Two, one. Another batch of 22 Starlink V2 mini satellites soared into the sky from SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. The first stage Falcon 9 booster B-1080 was on its third flight and successfully landed following stage separation. SpaceX has a 100% recovery rate for its first stage Falcon 9 boosters so far this year. Stage 1 landing confirmed. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.